All right, we are going to do a really hard position today. Like this one's really hard. It's uh, doing using XC in the unicycle and step cycle position. Let me just show you really quick, right? So you can get everything prepared. I like to use trekking poles, but you can do this in a door frame. And um, you can also just hold on to a countertop, something that's very sturdy. These matter which side I put them on. Okay, left and right. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to do this, but let me just show you real quick on the position so you can, we can get our mind wrapped around what we're going to do for the XC Resilience Challenge today, okay? That's what we're going to do. Small motions, backwards, forward, okay? And getting our arms involved. So um, before we do that, I like to just put my, my contact information up really quick so you have my email address right there. Email me, call me, text me if you have any questions. And uh, let's go into this, all right? Unicycle, step cycle, we already said that. All right, so the setup. I like to keep my pin right here, okay? So I don't lose it. Whenever you use XC, it is, it's the same position, whether you have a 240 or if you have the 260 or if you have our pro version, okay? You take your XC, right? You open it up all the way. The slide is all the way in, right? Right up against the rivet. And you take it, so I, right? Put it down, okay? Then center your body around the resistance knob. Okay, I like to take, I think it's easier to have a little bit of resistance in it, okay? If you actually do it with no resistance, which then requires isometric forces to pedal it, it's really challenging, okay? So just get yourself a little bit of resistance. That's probably too much, okay? Just get a good feel for it. We can change it as we go, all right? So here's what I like to do. Put one foot on, okay? Hold on to something sturdy, okay? With your poles, put your, your hands out. Okay, and then you step back on. Now I, we have the, the new pedal, so you want to get it on the flat side. Crouch down in an athletic position, okay? And then um, what you'll find when people first do it, they like really want to put all the weight and effort into whatever they're holding on to. Whether it's, you know, the door frame or, or a, a countertop or whatever. Look at this, okay? While you pedal, Okay, there's very little force put into whatever you're holding on to. Don't try to do this without holding on, okay? And, uh, but get yourself in kind of, if you get up stand, standing up straight, you're gonna, it's going to feel awkward, okay? Crouch down in an athletic position, right? And the easiest way to get started is just small back and forth motions, okay? Almost like a, right, you're going from 12 to 6. 12 to 6 okay and get a feel for it and then I mean and trust me if this is where you leave it doing this the whole workout is seriously difficult okay so if you don't want to go do a full rotation don't even worry about it okay but if you do want to do a rotation I personally think and everybody's different that it is easier to pedal backwards Okay, and go until you find a smooth motion. Okay, when you first do it, you go like, wait, I'm confused, right? My body doesn't want to do that. Let up on the other side, okay? You can go nice and slow and get a full rotation. And then for forwards, okay, same idea. You will absolutely find that you can do um, heavier resistance in reverse. My calves are on fire right now. <laughs> like, this one's gonna be really hard. All right, and uh, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna step back off, small back and forth motions in reverse and forward. That's a little bit too easy of resistance right there for me. And by easy, you know, that just means that it's hard <laughs> in this particular position, all right? So a little bit more resistance will be helpful to you. Okay, so here, before we get started here, whew, we'll do a warm-up. And as you're doing the warm-up, 
what I would like you to, this position is so hard that a better warm up is actually just sitting down, laying down and pedaling, you know, um, that what I just did is a great warm up, it's still very difficult. This is a hard position, it's much more advanced. But as you're warming up, I really want you to tune into which muscles you're using. Which muscles are you using in that back and forth motion? Which one are you using and going reverse? And which are, what muscles are you using going forward? And then even think about how much pressure am I putting into the wall? Or what I'm holding on to? Can I release a little bit of that pressure? Am I in an athletic position? You're right, and really, how much cardio am I getting? Am I getting strength training too? Really tune in during that warm up, okay? And so, um, I've been doing this and I've, this workout is really hard. I have to really concentrate while we're doing it. So I'm gonna jump into kind of the sequence, but as part of this resilience, you know, challenge, every day we've been coming up with a theme and then we've been coming up with a, a dare, okay? And yesterday's theme was avoid being rude, okay? In favor of being pleasant. And I hope you did that. I found one opportunity where you could have been rude, but you chose not to, right? And uh, the dare, was to practice some self-control and being considerate to someone you disagree with. And I think there's a lot of inconsiderate and rude behavior going on right now. So if we can just change one moment where we were going to be rude or we were going to lose a little self-control and be, you know, and, and, and be gentle or pleasant in response, that might have made your day and help build resilience. It really does. Okay. So I want to bring you to today's challenge. It's around perseverance. And before we get into this, I just, I sorry, I'm talking a lot. I know we want to get into the workout, but this is an important, an important thing I want to share with you. Okay. So we, I met this amazing woman. She lives in the UK. She has cerebral palsy and we're trying to figure out a way that XC would be useful to her. Okay. And, and thinking of different ways and it's really hard on her with her hand to reach all the way through, I mean, to reach, okay, for the, the crank arm. And we're trying to come up with a solution. And she said she's been following our resilience challenge, and which I love and I appreciate. And um, so I asked her, I said, well, what are your ideas? Do you, have any, do you want to see me do anything specific that you think would help people? And I want to read to you what she sent to me. Right? What about doing a challenge around perseverance? That's our theme today. Only an idea. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. Meaning of perseverance is not giving up. It is persistence and tenacity. The effort required to do something and keep doing it till the end, even if it's hard. Perseverance originally comes from the Latin word perseverantia. I hope I said that right. Perseverantia, right? And means to abide by something strictly. And I loved it. Okay, and I love this. We all need it at that moment, right? But when someone has a medical issue or a disability, you need perseverance and bucket loads. And it's so true. And um, so our theme today, it is for her. It is for anybody who has ever struggled to finish something that was hard. And, you know, and for a lot of people during this COVID, you know, kind of lockdown, I have seen a lot of people who have really focused on their health, have lost weight, have taken control of heart disease, and, you know, using both diet and nutrition, you know, and doing some things around their mental health to really get through this. And, um, and in a way that they've never been able to do before. And it's so inspiring to me. And um, with her and somebody with disability, and you can see the, right, the perseverance required to keep trying to reach past this point, right? To grab something, to grab a pen, to, to get a cup out of the cover. It's beyond amazing. I mean, anyway, it gets me choked up, so sorry. If I, uh, all right, so we're gonna skip right here into the workout. So for today, <clears throat> Woo, that's sitting down all the time. Right, so think about something that is really hard to do, whether it's following exercise, diet, nutrition, you know, um, oh, getting through an injury and a disability and a medical condition and all of these things, which we have the most inspiring customers in the world. 
oh, that's what we're going to do today. In bucket loads is what she said. And so I, I'm taking that with me, right? Bucket loads of perseverance. Even, you know, for creating a device and a startup, there's the entrepreneurial journey, you know, of uh, persevering through serious challenges. So that's what today's workout is dedicated to, all right? So that's a lot of talking. <laughs> all right. So what we're going to do, we're going to warm up. For the warm up, you might just stand here, okay? Standing in this position is not going to work out, okay? So let's just go really small, back and forth motions, okay? Now this position right here, practically every time I ask you to use the XC, right, I, it, it, when it comes to cycling your legs, I always focus on, you know, your um, barefoot and socks. And in this position, we really want you to put your shoes on. It's difficult to do barefoot, okay? But here, think about, like I, right, think about what muscles you're using. And a lot of times I'll ask you to kind of touch, you know, your muscles in this position is hard. But I mean, your quads are just gonna be on fire. I mean, I don't care what level athlete you are. This is a very tough position. I have had NFL players, Olympic skiers, you name it, like just winded on this position. Okay, so if you're just starting, it's just small motions, okay? Right. And if you do have trekking poles, this is a great way to also get your arms included in the workout. Right, I like try to do all kinds of different things while doing it, right? So, but your calves are gonna be on fire. Everything's gonna be, this is like those giant Stairmaster machines, okay? Woo, and step machines, okay? Again, the warm up for this is very hard. And so you can just step off and take a break, okay? Like for me, my leg is crooked, right? This is what my leg naturally wants to do, but then I can't pedal, okay? So I do here, get my feet straight and pointed. All right, so let's see what we're looking at. 68, you know what that means? It means it's 68 degrees. It's, I'm a California girl, <laughs> it's like I grew up in California, and there's 68 degrees in August. It's kind of, it's messing with my soul. All right. Let's go. All right. So there's no way I can hold myself up here for 20 minutes. So I will take off, all right? Take it easy. All right, so let's go. It says I'm going backwards for 45 seconds, okay? So this is interval training, okay? High intensity interval training. And the idea here is just to sprint, right? And push myself vigorously, as vigorously as I personally can right without overdoing it like i am not a huge fan of of exercise hurting or being really difficult okay on occasion i like to push myself and this is a position to do that all right i'm gonna slow down i'm gonna turn my resistance up a little bit more okay. oh i forgot during our warm-up to uh the three deep breaths let's do it now <laughs> So I like to rotate, step backwards forward, step backwards forwards. That's what I like to do, okay? This time I'm gonna go forward, okay? I can't remember what I did last time. <laughs> All right. And then sometimes if I can't finish the whole thing, okay, let's see if I can push myself through it. this workout it's a good idea a good one for perseverance but I'll tell you what every position for some people has a level of difficulty somewhere for someone okay like I said being able to reach we take healthy bodies for granted right we do right and having a little gratitude 
or legs being able to step up here, right? And having legs and being able to use them. Pretty cool. Woo! My Apple Watch is uh, dead. Forgot to charge it, so. And this one, you'll be surprised actually. I've done a head to head comparison. I'm gonna go backwards this time. Head to head comparison with pedaling XE like this versus pedaling with my arms. And my arms, a lot of times, I'll burn more calories, which is why I love it and think it's like this hidden gym that nobody hardly knows about, except for physical therapists and people who have been through cardiac rehab, shoulder rehab, right? They'll be asking you uh, to uh, pedal your arms. And then you realize, wow, it's so hard. Woo! Okay. This one is tough on your calf muscles. Woo! I have a, one of our customers, early customer, she has our black version, and she, uh, use, she does this step exercise. She got a new yellow one. Can't stand on the black one. She got the new yellow one, and she does this every night, and she has been doing it every night for years. Awesome. Okay, this time, let's just do step. Okay. I don't think I can do this every night. I don't, it's not that I can't, I just don't think I'd want to because I think it's really hard. But, um, I don't know, maybe that could be a good goal. <laughs> I just find, am I in perfect shape? I'm absolutely not. But I find that I don't have to go crazy, right? And really, really do hard, hard, hard things in order to get the benefits of exercise, right? It's one of the main reasons that doctors, especially heart, right, specialists for heart health, want us to just go on a walk every day. And obviously not everybody can do that. But doing things at a moderate level with intensity built into it, huge benefits. Woo, this one's a tough one. All right. Woo. Well, hi, Russell. I see you over there. <laughs> oh. Do you want to come say hi? Do you want to come say hi? No. Okay. All right. So, do you see that I'm getting myself? locked into a position every time, okay? So we're back to backwards. This time, I'm gonna get my arms involved a little bit. I'll tell you what, with this new report out that the face shields, not the shields, but the face coverings that are kind of like a ski mask, that they're not very effective, not only not very effective, but actually maybe worse than nothing. It makes me wonder what's going to happen to our ski season. And uh, I will tell you, I'm seriously looking forward to our skiing <laughs> because it feels like social distancing. Although in the uh, ski line, it is a little harder, but I think, you know, with your skis on, you can really force yourself to keep that distance. But what's making me think about that is this position for cross country skiing. Woo! And uh, I might have to do more cross country skiing this year. I went a little long on that one. I promise I'm not actually such a talker. <laughs> I think I'm talking more because I'm seeing people less. And, uh, <laughs> I miss seeing people. Sometimes if I need a rest and I don't want to step up, I just stand up. I forgot which position I was, which way I was going. Right. Woo! A good one for this one is the backwards forwards workout. That's another good one to pick. 
I'm gonna need a shower for this one. I have all intentions of doing these in the morning so that whatever the resilience challenge is, you can try to do it throughout the day. But uh, I've been going to bed later, making it harder to get up early. And then by the, so instead of getting up at 4.35 o'clock, I'm getting up at 7. And then I feel like I gotta get on email. So the back and forth, right? Switch it up. The reason I like to switch it, your forward leg, you're gonna, because I'm pushing down, okay? I'm put more inertia into, okay? So I like to switch it up instead of resting. So I can make it through the burst. curious when I get on there. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. Set up. Now my glasses on. You know, it's so funny. I cannot see hardly at all living without my glasses on. Whew. Resistance right here, okay? You get my arms again. So by by including your arms, okay, you're gonna increase your heart rate. And you know, whenever we move our arms, right, it comes from our core, our trunk, not the six pack, right? Forget the six pack. The trunk is where so much of our movement comes from, right? All these lovely small muscles by our, around our spine. And, uh, right, so when you reach for something, right? It's coming from here. <sighs> One thing I will say, whether it's the morning or the night, whenever I do this, if I dread exercise and I start it, I feel better. And, uh, woo! I'm yawning. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go slower this time. Now, I have more resistance. So it's harder for me to spin smoothly. And that's okay. Okay? So sometimes, it's like you're kind of, whoo, going up a steep hill. And you gotta work it. Okay? And really put the effort in here. Right, this is a good actually position where I go slow. Alright, and I'm trying to grind through them. These are great poles, by the way. Urban pulling. I'm a huge fan of poles. And uh these ones are really sturdy, and then they adjust on the fly. So, if you're going up something that's actually really steep here, okay? I mean, for storage, it's great, too. Let's see if I can get it back where it goes. Uh, let's see. Where'd you go? There's a white line there. There you go. I'm going to do that again, except this time. I'm gonna crank it up a little more. Now, notice that it's harder for me to spin again. There's no spinning. If you're really, I mean, if I hammer, like, and I can only do that for so long, okay? There's no way I could do that for 45 seconds. But, all right, let me get this hill and turn some butter while we're at it, right? Sorry, nerd, nerd alert right there. Hey, Russell, where are you going, baby? Sometimes I think the squirrels like torment him. 
might throw little things at him. <laughs> now, one of the random things that sometimes I'll oh, yeah, that's just too much resistance. I can't even move that with my single leg. So I can hit it. <laughs> right? But just standing on it sometimes and pushing down is also a good exercise. And you have to use your balance while doing that. In fact, I'm going to show you guys that, okay? So I'm standing on the bar, okay? Maybe take the balance out of here. To do this, I'm engaging my core, right? And I'm using all forms of balance right here. Hey, sweetie pie. Let's get the new doggies come. Come on, sweetie. Okay, you're a good dog. All right, then I'm going to take it. Now, I can't do it now because I'm going to bop them in the face. Okay, well, lay down. Well, lay down. You're allowing me to cheat. stand here and put this is a lot of resistance here okay I could touch the put it the cushion a lot of resistance push down okay come up push down that is and maybe even do this in your slow mode right or forward okay and then backwards and then forward so I have to do a lot of balance it looks easier than it is and it's actually a lot of mental kind of concentration as well, right? But, all right, and then we get back up and we do a harder kind of intensity here, okay? All right, let's go backwards. So now I can, I can still pedal pretty smoothly backwards. Not as smooth because I have some good amount of resistance in there, okay? All right. You gotta always make sure that you're stable, okay? Exy stable. You gotta just make sure that you're stable. <laughs> Hold your core. Again, advanced position. <sighs> Woo. All right. <sighs> Let's do this with standing on here. Go forward. Okay. Backwards. Backwards. Just kind of play. I am a huge fan. You'll hear me work see the word play a lot. It's why the word play is in our app. Okay, from the very beginning. It's like, how do we make it fun? Right? Because exercise is not always fun. Okay. I'm going to go backwards again. Actually, I'm going to do steps. Okay, higher resistance here. I'm going to switch your front leg. That's a lot of resistance. And it is actually, again, hard with no resistance. I'll show you guys that too. <sighs> All right. Woo! Let's do no resistance. Let's see how easy that is. I can still go. Now, I can still stand. Okay, just lifting up your leg, right? It even, let's see if we can pedal with one. No, but I could rock one, okay? Maybe with my, my bare feet. All right, so this is tricky, okay? If you're gonna do isometric, then you can do isometric exercises with every single exercise that we have. It just means you're not using resistance and you're using opposing forces with your own body. Okay, so, right, I can go slow, right? And the only thing that's allowing my leg to go is the other one, okay? And I'm pedaling smooth forces. You see how that's hard for me? I don't know if you guys can see that. That is so much effort and then it looks so easy. Right, take a break. Woo! All right. I 
love this position. It's not always one I, I gravitate towards all the time. Sometimes I just sort of sit down and watch TV and uh, kind of really get my heart rate up, do some strength training, and this one is definitely harder. And after doing this tonight, it is reminding me that it's actually something I don't enjoy doing. I don't really, like, it's not something that I can put in my fun bucket, right? It's hard for me to follow through on doing this one, but I feel good after, and I also know I'm that my hip is going to really like this, okay? So my hip, my husband and I have been walking more with COVID. You know, it's really the only time I get out of the house, um, outside of when, you know, going to the grocery store. But um, it's really thrown my hip off. It's super tight. I went to my physical therapist, trying to get some exercises to do, and then some stretches to do. Uh, so I can I can feel this this hopeful in that hip. So you know my I I tried to start running at the beginning of the year and I did for a while, and that running kind of really inflamed my hip. In addition to the walking with my leg being crooked, um, I'm working through it. I guess trying to be trying to persevere, continuing through this injury of mine that I did five years ago, right? Sometimes, you know, it's those injuries that are like long lasting and, you know, you got your health conditions where nothing looks like it's going on. On the outside, everything looks good to go, right? And there it is hiding, right? And sometimes, same with injury, people live with chronic pain and chronic conditions that we mask and that we have to persevere through. And uh, so we believe exercise is part of that. Rehabbing is part of that. Oh, all right. So I have 30 seconds left. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna finish strong here. Okay? Let's go reverse. Reverse with isometric forces. Okay. <laughs> That's so hard. I do it's really ah it's so important to um, keep track over time okay 102 I'm gonna save it track my results yes please I would absolutely do that again you know I, I, I push this one a lot but I will say after exercise, by and large, I really am proud of myself. Like, I really feel like I accomplished something. If I didn't accomplish anything the whole day, knocking out exercise really makes me feel like I did. So, going back to the theme, right? Perseverance. I'm out of breath. And so, today's challenge. Look at, I'm going to edit this. Today's challenge. Or, actually, it's the dare. Okay? Our dare. All right. So the dare of the day. Identify and do something difficult. Okay. Identify and do something difficult. Especially if you have failed at it before. And that could be with your exe. May at the direction of your physical therapist. Maybe. Just maybe. You've been at that threshold where you're ready. Right. To take your hand. And, and get a full rotation in for the first time. And you've been trying and trying and trying and get that full rotation. And then like, there's one day it's going to happen because you've been working really hard and being really focused and strictly focusing on doing it, right? And then that day you're supposed to, oh, today's the day. Boom, and you get a full rotation nice and slow. Same with your leg, same thing happens. I've been there on that one, okay? You're pedaling, you know, you can't get your legs straight. 
Now you've been working on getting your legs straight or you've been working on back and forth motions, slow back and forth motions. Post-surgery, your physical therapist keeps like pushing you, pushing you, like get more extension. And you just want to sock them in the face, right? That's not very nice, but right? Just, ah! So, but then today's the day, right? If you get permission, it's like pushing it over the edge and then you have the whole rotation with your feet. And um, anyway, maybe it's walking, maybe it's going from being able to do two minutes of exercise to three minutes of exercise. You know, maybe it is bumping up on the temperature gauge from just two degrees or four degrees. So I'm tying this all back to ECSI, but I truly believe in the power of exercise as medicine. And so I always go there and that's where I go first. But um, there's so many ways, right? That we can, we have to have more perseverance in our life. But please, right, if you can, identify and do something difficult. I don't care how small it is. Maybe it's standing up in, a, in your chair. Maybe it is going to the grocery store, right? Maybe, whatever it is, something, no matter how small or how big that is difficult for you, right? Especially if you can keep failing at it, right? Let's do it today, okay? And um, I love this one and I'm so thankful for the idea right by the way and uh, I'll put her note up again because I think it's so important just getting like way outside of ourselves and what we think we can and can't do and then be thankful for the things that we can and then right just working really hard to, to get through the things that we can in bucket loads right perseverance in bucket loads that is my new mantra I'm gonna do that this whole thing through this COVID I'm gonna not only focus on resilience, but perseverance and bucket loads. I'm gonna make a shirt that says that. And then uh, you know who I'm gonna send that to, right? Because <laughs> I hope you're seeing this tomorrow. I won't, I won't put you on there, but uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bring on the ideas, right? I'm doing this as I go. I do feel better. And so I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, have a great night.